move on to this session, which is what should the UN we want be in the world we want? What is needed? What do we need to put in place? What changes are required structurally, culturally, and otherwise to make the sustainable development agenda um, a reality? SDGs have been at the core of our action and activities for uh, the, the past 50 years or so. And as far as uh, planning itself, SDGs have been mandated to be part of UNDAFs for about uh, 10 years. We have a long, rich history of engaging in all of these areas. And by the way, the 17 goals do matter. I mean, there is in each of them a very wide and, and vibrant community at the, at the global level and uh, at the at the local uh, levels also. So we should have as a system uh, a great deal of confidence actually how we move forward. The second is I heard that there's a great uh, uh, dispiriting uh, feeling that, that the, it is way too ambitious. It is true that if you look, for instance, in the area of education, well, the agenda asks for us to do pre-primary, primary, secondary education, higher education for all of quality by 2030. And, and that is essentially the whole of the uh, agenda. And uh, what we're asked is essentially as a system, we're challenged to come up with a framework that is doable. And that is our task. And if we can't do that, as my colleague said, well, move out. Uh, some of it will imply um, changes in the way we function. We're uh, as we examine our own internal structure within uh, UNESCO, we're convinced that the regional level is is incredibly important uh, to ensure that the expertise is there at the at the country and national level, and so that that is where we should be investing. But the UN should be investing uh, more at the regional level uh, to build on on mutual on mutual strength. One of the things that regional directors and regional offices can and must do is they have to support personal leadership. Each of you are leaders, each of us are leaders. And each of, it, each of us have our own personal commitments to the style and to the issues that we're going to advance. And I think regional directors, one of the best things we can do to support good country teams is to empower you to take leadership and to demonstrate your own personal leadership on how you believe it is best for the UN to be moving forward at country level in the, in the duty station that you're at. Second point that I'd like to stress is this concept of universality. Um, and I'm gonna steal a message that comes from Michelle Sidi Bay, the executive director of UNAIDS. He has increased, you know, Michelle is, is from Mali. And he talks no longer about uh, fragile co countries. He talks only about fragile communities. And whether it's Baltimore, to Bamako, to Bangkok, the UN must be with vulnerable communities, with fragile communities. And if we're not there, we need to be there. And you need to count on the support of the global level and the regional level to be hand in hand with you. All of us have worked about half of our careers or more with the MDGs, and now we're faced with that challenge of branding, making new communication strategies, advocacy strategies, and inroads with our government partners. So it's something that is a very, very big challenge, which I bring up right up front for all of us to acknowledge and to work on those communications and branding strategies, which are very important to bring the SDGs to light. We do a pretty good job so far of linking SDGs and MDGs into the national plans. Many governments around the world have done that. Indonesia has linked that into the uh, MDG and SDG world, but obviously getting that down to the subnational level, especially in areas that need to be served by us and where government is asking for help on that is, is something that all of us need to work together as a team in terms of developing checklists and developing procedures for us to work together.